All right, so this is gonna be if you have a compass. Uh, I'll do another one of if you do not have a compass. Uh, use a straight edge. Doesn't really matter what kind of straight edge you want. And draw a line across the page. Woo, line. Okay. Uh, then you're gonna place your compass with the point on the line and you're gonna draw a circle. And the whole design will fit inside the circle. If you want to add on to it, you're going to be able to, but start here and uh, add on, and then uh, add on. And if you want to be really fancy about it, by all means do, uh, open your compass up real wide and then placing the point here where the pink and the purple meet of that original circle, make little marks. We're going to get a perpendicular bisector here. And then you're going to connect those marks, uh, those intersections. Oops, sorry, turn the light down. Connect those intersections. <clears throat> and then we have two new intersections. We're going to close our compass back down to the width that it was already. I'm just going to measure that width right here. Cool. And. not to hit my camera. And then we're going to connect. So we're going to divide that original circle into eight equal pieces by connecting like that point and that point, the intersections of those neighboring circles. And then the last thing that you need to do, really, sorry, you can't really see that last line that I drew, is you're gonna draw two squares inside the original circle. Keeping in mind, the original circle is the one on the super inside. And what you're gonna do is everywhere that a pink line intersects the purple circle, we're gonna connect to make a square and by everywhere, I mean only in the places that will make a square, which will make an octagon. Although that might be fun too. You could try to make an octagon, that'd be okay. So here is my apparently gray sparkle circle. You can't see the sparkles yet. I will make it sparkle for you. And then I'm going to do a blue sparkle circle. It's raining right now. And then you have created yourself the eight pointed star. And isn't it beautiful? Now, if you want to, if you add another circle here and you add another circle here and you add another circle here, you can tile it. And I'll show you that in another video.